Hi everyone, today we're going to be making this beautiful cottagecore house. So let's go ahead and work on the bottom. We're using the Mizuno 16 texture pack for this. It's available on both Bedrock and Java. You do have to pay on Bedrock, but I would recommend this texture pack. It's gorgeous. And a lot of other Minecraft builders use it as well. So let's go ahead and make this. You're just going to copy exactly what I did. And then we're going to remove that. We made it six feet tall. Now we're going to make a three by three door. And then we're going to put these nether brick stairs. So let's go ahead and place them. Place them exactly where I did. And then we're just going to remove those because I've decided to do a little something cool with the roof. So let's go ahead. And then we're going to be placing down the nether brick blocks. I was originally going to go with a different roof, but we are going to go with this gorgeous dramatic roof. So you're just going to be placing blocks exactly like I did. It's very self-explanatory. You basically put one stair, go up a level, and then put a block, and then put a stair on top of that, and so on and so forth. So we're just doing that right now. I love the look of this texture pack. I feel like these bricks look so pretty. They're really a step up from the normal Minecraft bricks that you would see. I think the color is just gorgeous and, and dramatic. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to finish the top off. And then you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side, but it's going to be straight. But don't do the back because we're going to do that together. And then right here, this is an odd number. So we're just going to be putting those slabs. Now we're going to be making an overhang in the back. So we just make the house look a little bit more interesting. So this is it. We're just going to go ahead and place those blocks. It's only two blocks back more. And then we're going to just add a little bit extra on the side. You know the drill. Continue with the roof. Go ahead and fill in all of the empty space made by the roof with these birch blocks. So our house is nice and closed in. So let's go ahead and do that. We do that on every side. I'm so excited for this house. I think that it's gorgeous. And also, I streamed on Twitch live. Well, we were building this house. So if you think that you would like to see some more of me, I do stream on Twitch. So let's keep on going up. I love the vibe of this texture pack. It really exemplifies the cottage core style of Minecraft building, which I absolutely adore. I think that cottage core houses are beautiful. I would kill to live in one real life. They're just so gorgeous. So down here, we're just going to put stairs where all of the blocks are on top of them because I wanted to make the first layer of the roof a little bit offset from the rest of the roof. We're doing that and then we're gonna just cut out those blocks and put those two blocks there. Now we're gonna make an overhang. You're gonna do it exactly where I made the lines to do it and then you're just gonna follow along and do the same thing and then we're gonna do it all the way around the outside of the house. So basically you're just gonna follow what I do. And here we go. I did it before, but I decided to change it a bit. So that's why you might see some pieces that you should not be seeing yet. Okay, so now we're done. So there we go. Look at how amazing that looks. Let's cut out for the windows and put those spruce buttons. And now we're just putting that entrance with our beautiful spruce doors and those stairs. So now on this side, we're doing the roof as well. It's the same thing, very easy, very simple, but instead since this one has a one block in the middle instead of two, it's going to be slightly different, so I figured I should show you this roof being done. So let's go ahead and do that. This wood is so, so nice to look at. It's so nice. This is dark oak wood, in case you didn't know, but it's such a beautiful wood to be able to use. So now we're just finishing up the final touches and... Look at how good that looks. Now we're cutting out that window. We're cutting out a bit more. Okay, now we're going to be cutting out this and then right here we're going to be removing the previous wall from the beginning of the house and then we are just removing that so everything looks nice. And now we're going to make a huge window the whole length of the house. It's going to look gorgeous when you're in this house. I promise I love the look of this window. And then... We're going to make one other small window here and here as well. And then we're going to, of course, make that window. We're going to put our pieces into place that we missed on the pass around before. And now we're putting these orange stained glass panes into the gap. I personally like stained glass panes. I know that they look a little blue, but it's because of the shader that I'm using. But they look gorgeous. And then these are light gray stained glass panes that we're using down here. 
so I love the look of them. I feel like this outline is so unique and I wish that Minecraft had blocks like this, but they don't. I love this. I really want to make um like a butterfly exhibit with these. I feel like that would be pretty cool. So now we're going to be working on the door, but first we're going to head inside and just put some lighting to make sure that mobs don't spawn as you're working on this house. I wouldn't want that to happen if you're working in survival. Plus, this also gives us a lot of light as we're working on the house. Now we're going to be working on those windows. You're just going to follow exactly what I do. Very self-explanatory. These look gorgeous. Once you're we're done building this, you're going to be obsessed with it just like I am. So let's put up those spruce. We're going to be making those little trees out of moss blocks. We're just going to make that one flowered. And now we're going to make it a planter up here. I've decided to make it a little bit bigger and just take away those extra spruce slabs and look at how gorgeous that looks. Let's make that a little bigger as well. Put grass, put a couple of beautiful, beautiful flowers, and then we're going to do that a couple places around the house. So here we go. We're going to be doing it on this side and then you can choose what flowers you want to put there. We're going to put a... Uh, oh my god, I forgot the word. Oh, shutter up there. And then we're going to be making another planter down here. I put a little pods of dill and mushroom. And then I put a couple of little flower pots up there as well. So let's keep on going. Look at how gorgeous this looks. I love the spruce wood in this pack. I know I said it before, but it really looks gorgeous. And now we're just going to put those flowers in flower pots and head on inside. I'm going to take off my shaders because it'll be easier to see. And then here we go. We're going to put the beds and we're going to make this cute little desk. I'm obsessed with this desk. Turn around, place a stair. We're going to place a book and a quill as well as a mushroom. Now, look at this. We are putting a banner two lanterns and then we're going to put those court stairs back and it'll give us a little pillow. Uh, area in our bed and I, I love the look of that. We're going to be closing that off and then once we're done we're going to go back inside and do a couple of other very little things. So let's go inside make the little door frame. Heading inside we're going to put our paintings now. I took that Andy Warhol sheep type painting. We put up um the bookshelves and then we are taking down that wall and we're working on the kitchen. So let's get working on the kitchen. It's very, very cool this kitchen. We're going to take pistons and you're just going to lay them out. We're going to take spruce and then we're going to take our cauldrons and our flowers. Actually going to put the furnaces on the other side, make a giant chimney and then we're going to put some spruce planks and these barrels. And then you're just going to follow the pattern, put the barrels up, and then put that extra ones right there. Now we're going to make a table, put some redstone and pistons, and you're good. Now we're going to make our couches. Very, very simple to make. We're going to take three stairs for one, and then we're going to do one and two trap doors and six plus a slab. So now we're just going to choose our paintings. Look at how cute that little cat is. Look at all the other paintings as well. They are absolutely gorgeous, too. Actually done with the house. What do you guys think of it? I love it so much.